the most dangerous game. Yes. When I was little, that phrase, like, I did not understand that that phrase referred to prey. I thought it was just, like, a game that was really Oh, dangerous. like, a, you didn't realize it was, like, game as in, like, an animal. Okay. No, yeah. Well, we've got a note here. Dear Ms. Benton, when cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. Okay. He's very peculiar, but at least he pays well. Well, no, he doesn't pay well, apparently. He, or he doesn't pay in a timely fashion, at any rate. No. And as you'll see, working conditions here are not the best, as we'll soon discover. But, yeah, I think I got confused by that as a kid. I didn't understand game as in, like, you know, a game animal. I thought... Oh, a bull rat fetus. Dr. Galvani's nice. lab. So much value. It's like it's like my high school science class room or something. Oh, what's this? Galvani, the latest case should arrive within a week, containing all components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't you can't have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastard. Hey, isn't white phosphorus wasn't that the uh, incendiary weapon from Spec Ops the line? That is, yeah. Yeah. Very flammable. So apparently he's he's going to unleash some willy peat on the rat population or something. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes. Not in some dirty little secret room behind a wall of books. Hint, hint. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need. But remember, it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore, Procurement Clerk and Provisioner, Academy of Natural Philosophy, South Wing. Do you think smart people really sign off letters like yours in knowledge? I, I can assure you as a very smart person that no, we do not. Okay. Oh, oh here's a globe. <laughs> I realized I just lumped myself in with dumb people. I'm, I'm, glad to I'm always glad to enlighten the lesser orders on these things. No, we usually, we usually, you know, end our, we usually end our letters with stuff like, you know, you know, best wishes, or stay away from my sister, or I'll kill you, things like that. Good to know. Speaking of which, Nick, stay away from my sister, or I'll kill you. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But yeah, here's a global. There's, there's, there's Pandicia. You can see the isles. The islands of the Empire, you can see the islands are pretty big. They, they look like they're almost like subcontinents. Hmm. But, oh, here's an audiograph. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Interesting. Hmm. So those are recorded on punch cards. Hold on, let's have a look at this. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be the uh, recording technology of choice in the Dishonored universe. It let I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it, it works exactly. I, I assume whale oil is somehow involved. Excerpt from a series of interviews with street workers, by Rat Catcher Lena. Used to be, you'd go out with a bag, a stick with a nail on the end, and catch as many bats as you catch as many rats as you could in a night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone, and we got by. If we found a place where the rats were real bad. Sometimes we'd hire a crew of street brats to work with us, the younger ones who didn't make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. 
You have to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they turn and the swarm would come back at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterward, but it was the sounds they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous. And the City Watch started paying better. But that didn't last long, because after a while, too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. One slip and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. So apparently the most dangerous game of all isn't man, it's rat. You know, I believe there have been situations where the authorities started offering bounties for, um, like, you know, uh, pests. Mm. And and the, the problem was that when people realized they could get money for them, they actually started breeding the animals themselves. I did not know that. That's weird. Because, like, like, the authorities say, you know, bring in, you know, dead cobras or whatever and we'll pay you. And you could go out and kill cobras or you could just, you know, set up a cobra farm in your basement and... Oh, the Leviathan Sorrow. Here's another book. Excerpt from a report on a treatise banned by the Rudshore Trade Council. Little is known of Picotti, credited with a series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade. While he is gifted, his views are nonsense and threaten the economic underpinnings of the empire. 1. Enslavement. On the breeding and husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after, quote, a natural and free life cycle. Picotti offers no solution for where these massive, malevolent creatures might be, quote-unquote, pastured. 2. Disillusion. Lament on the destruction of, quote-unquote, social bonds between herd members. Picotti actually uses the term families. 3. Harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is, in reality, the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. Includes arguments on the gentle nature of the brutes, a notion refuted by seamen who return to shore, wide-eyed, with tales of the whale's savagery. Okay, so even in Dunwall, not ev there is some uh, controversy about whaling. Oop, four. Oh, that's bad. Well, I'm glad it's not a society that embraces it. Well, it kind of is, considering their economy is built around it, but it's, there's some criticism. Yeah. And some senseless vandalism. And theft. Well, not senseless. It was, to it was for the purpose of stealing. Got some, got some, cook, cook up some nice meth in here, I guess. Oh, another when somebody book. Somebody explained to me. Oh. Well, well, go ahead, Dick. I was just gonna say when somebody explained to me how they used to record stuff, like I did not believe it. Like well, there was this thing I can't remember, but they would have this circle of wax, and they'd run a needle along it. Yeah, the wax you, cylinder. Yeah, and you'd talk. And it it would pick up the vibrations, mm -hmm. and then when you ran it back under the needle, it would repeat it back to you. And I was like, "That's bullshit." But then I heard it. It was weird. Well, it's you know, like I mean, they can record stuff into grooves on you know records. Hmm. All right. Excerpt from a natural philosopher's notes. For over a year, I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and maturation cycle, it's possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town, in the slums, exhibit the oldest strains of the plague. While those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city, exhibit a younger strain of the plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? So, some curious phenomena about... Oh, I will... Well, never mind. Yeah, so, some curious phenomena involving these rats. The way they arrived in the city seems a little... weird. They appear in the slums first. And this this looks like a, like a, almost like a photographic dark room or something. Mm. I don't know, maybe he's doing like chemical experiments in there. Maybe. Now there's a little. Uh, there's no way for me to get into the uh, lab apparently. But you notice there's that vent in the wall. Yeah. And there's another vent in the wall that's broken open. A, ma a man could not fit in there. 
unless he was, you know, Tom Cruise sized, perhaps. But some other creature perhaps could. <laughs> Powers possession allows controls of animals for a short duration. Three runes. Nice. And now, observe. So you're gonna possess that rat there. Yeah. Take over the rat. And. And I'm in. Oh wow. And now we head. Now we simply head through. The rat's vision is not as acute as a man's. But, and we emerge. Now. The rat does not survive that process, by the way. Oh, no. got, got the rat, Viscera. I, don't, I, I imagine to the... Uh, uh, oh, we've got another book here. Excerpt an interview attached to a formal report by City Works Crew 17A. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts, too. We got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. And it ain't like we got help from those pricks in civil engineering, either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years, and I never seen one of them come below. Except to measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years have been the worst, and here's why. It's the river crusts moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up, and we all climb up fast. No other choice. We'll encounter some river crusts ourselves later, and they are... They're, they're as nasty as he says, pretty much. You do not want to mess with them. There we go. Alright. And now we open that hatch. It opens a secret door. So there's books on both sides? Oh, no, there's just no back to yeah. the bookcase. Okay, so we've got the diseased rat viscera, carry, tainted with strains of the plague. Now it really remains to unleash it upon the medicine that the poor people of this town so desperately need. Because, as you may recall, in this playthrough of the game, Corvo Atano is history's greatest monster. Is nothing. Will nothing be spared? Not really. Well, well, well her. Late. Although her key is now mine. I just forgot to take it off her earlier. All right, here we go. This is the doc's bedroom. Right. To Oop. think they were to be married. How ironic, somehow. Whoop, Dr. Galvani's journal. Dear diary, I can't believe Billy said he likes me. That's, that's only in the Dishonored fanfic I'm writing. Right. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I pity them. Okay, he doesn't actually say that. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian red. This comes up a couple times. Apparently Tivia has really good wines or something. Hmm. All righty. So, apparently, the 28th day of the seventh month is the most important day of his life. Keep that in mind. I want... Yep. As I just... There we go. Mission clues. I don't know why he has sleep darts in his bedroom. It's kind of creepy. Ooh, 50, 50 coin pocket watch. Nice. We've already discussed his... Corvo's inexplicable ability to just... Transform stuff. things into coins with a touch. Exactly. Everything, everything I touch turns to gold, Nick. Everything I touch turns to gold. Somehow. 
Which is nice. I, I'm glad that you don't have to, like, juggle a bunch of crap in your inventory all the time to sell later. Right, now down to the... Ooh! You notice there's some rats on the first floor in a rather large group. For some reason. 